thank you for joining me on Just Roscoe. We're checking out a new game to the channel. This is Big Ambitions. Now, this is described as a a role-playing business sim. Role-playing business sim. Uh, this is Roscoe Smith here. He's 18 years old. Uh, I'm going to pause the game in a minute so time doesn't pass by. He's got $5,000. He's quite happy. He's got a full belly. No energy whatsoever. Where has my energy gone? Why would the game start me with no energy? We don't have any objectives at the moment. No, there is a, a sort of story mode you can play, which uh, gives you objectives and your uncle sort of eases you into the game, tells you what to open, tells you the next step. I've played a, a few hours of this, shall we say, and I really enjoy this game. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do some videos on it. Right, so we're on Monday, day one, it's 8.50, and the aim of the game is to make money by running businesses. So if we sort of zoom out here, you can see we've got this lovely little street, beautiful, we've got cars. If we go to the map, you can actually see the entire city. It's actually a really good sized city. Only thing I'm not sure on is what this green area is for. It doesn't seem to be significant. So you've got a park over here, which you get happiness for walking around the park. This area, not sure. I'm sort of going, are you planning on adding something there at some point? Who knows? But yeah, we've got all of this city. We've got the, the seafront here or riverfront. I'd say seafront. And there's a lot to do in this game. First, first things first, what business do we want to open? And there's quite a few. We can we can do all sorts. We can open a nightclub. We can open a florist. We can open our own lawyers. We can sort of do a law, a law firm. <laughs> open our own lawyers. Yes, we're making people who are lawyers. No, open a law firm. But I think I'm going to start off simple. I think I'm going to start off because in the tutorial, the first thing they make you open is a gift shop. And I actually think that's a good idea. I think, like... Not like the game teaches you to. The game will tell you to sell um, expensive gifts and cheap gifts. And you can add flowers. But what if we did flowers and gifts and jewellery eventually and made it like a proper shop where you could buy some books and some gift books and things like that? I think that would be really interesting. Now, we have to find a retail unit for sale. So if I put retail on here, there is a lot of... like We can figure out what area we want to be in so we've got the the garment district we've got hell's kitchen we've got lower manhattan we've got midtown and we've got murray hill and if you put them all on you can see where they are by the different colors which is nice i'm thinking i would like to start off on fifth avenue on this main road here this main through fair one of the things i did st i started off on third street i think it was which was here and it's okay, but obviously you get a lot more footfall on the main road. So I would like to start off on 5th Avenue. Now, what district are we in? Are we in Hell's Kitchen? No, we're not. Okay, so we're in uh, the Garment District, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Anything past this point will be a different district. So we'll sort of stick to this end for the time being. Let's go and have a look what they need in this district what's missing so if we go to market insider we go to uh we're already on the right district and if we go demand and put it in order there is a hundred percent demand for ice cream there is no businesses supplying that pizza same no businesses smart watches i don't want to go into yet i just think jewelry again it costs like lowest market value is two thousand pound I just think with such a small budget to start with, probably not looking at that. But if we look down here, gifts, there we go. Gifts, cheap and expensive gifts. Only one business selling those. So I think that's quite good. Donuts, though, one business selling that. See, I've seen a lot of comments on this game saying fast food is not the way to go. I disagree. I actually did really well in this game with fast food. I opened multiple fast food places and they made me a lot of money. So I am tempted to go down that route. Hmm. The issue. So gifts, I think, is cheaper to set up. The units are cheaper, right? Let's have a look. Let's go. I'll tell you what. Let's go to maps. We're going to. Some of the things we're going to put on the map, just so we always know where they are, 
is a wholesale store. And what's the other one? Where do we get our furniture? Not a furniture store. No, no. Um, ah, appliance store. There we go. So we've got an appliance store there. We've got an appliance store here. So if we click on that and open it in the Bisman, we can actually click on this button here and it'll tell us what it sells and what the prices are. Really handy when you're starting off to check out the prices and things. So to sell gifts, we're going to need a rounded shelf. So that's 1,200. So that's for your expensive gifts. Your cheap gifts can either be on these or they can be on the product panels, which are 500. So straight away, you've just spent a massive chunk of money. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm weighing up my options. Clothing, I think, is too expensive to start with. You need a lot of money just to buy the clothes in the first place. Let's go up here and have a look in uh, this one. We're going to look in at this appliance store. Square appliances. We're going to open it and we're going to see what they sell. Now, to do hot dogs, that would cost us two grand. 900 for the till. It's not a lot of money we've got. Industrial grill. Do you know what? I think we might have to go and get a job. I think we're going to have to get a job to boost... And that's a grocery store, right? That's a supermarket. I'm going to set that as my destination. We're not far from there. So yeah, five grand is not going to get us very far to start off with. But what if we go down here? We go into this grocery store. Let's go in there, please. There we go. So we're in here. And I think, if I'm correct, there's job boards. Let's click on the job board. Uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, wage $25 an hour. Do you know what? I'm going to have to take it. So we're going to accept that. Next thing we have to do is find somewhere to live. So let's put a residential up. That one's available. Let's have a look at it. We've got daily rent $81, which is okay. Initial payment $2,600. We can even look inside the apartment with the preview button. You don't get much for your money. But that is what we're looking for to start with. I'm just thinking if I'm going to be down on 5th Avenue, a house down here would probably be better. It is a long way from work though. What about that one? Let's have a look at this one. 65 rent, 2,200 up front. Oh wow, that's much bigger. We don't need something that big. We don't. What about here? Let's have a look at this one. 44 rent, 1,400 up front. Do you know what? I think that would be ideal. I think we're going to rent that. So let's go rent building. Lovely. Now, does it come with a bed? Is the interesting thing. I am going to quickly grab a, a shopping basket. There we go. We grab the shopping basket. We're going to grab some food because we're going to need that. How much would 10 food be? 80, 80 bucks. We can do that. So go and place our order. Let's, let's pay for that. There we go. We get it in a little shopping bag. Perfect. And then we're going to we're gonna set... Wait, our house is straight down, right? Yep. Straight down here. Try, ooh, try not to get ran over. <laughs> oh, if you think me walking's fun, wait till I start driving. <laughs> It almost reminds me when I drive, I don't know why, but it almost reminds me a bit of the uh, like Grand Theft Auto when you had the above view of the Grand Theft Auto. Uh, wait, where's my house? Ah, just down here. So this is now where we live. I'm hoping there's a bed in there. Oh, there is not. There is not a bed in there. Okay, let's place this bag of food in the corner. Like, minimum, we're going to need a bed. So we're going to have to go to not Ikea. Right, uh, can I have a taxi? Because I don't particularly... I'm just going to run up in the middle of the road. <laughs> I need to find a taxi. Not Ikea. You could walk there. But, like, we've got no energy as it is. Ah, oh, there's a taxi. Excuse me, Mr. Taxi. Could you possibly take me to... Wait, where is it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We're only there and it's only here. Do you know what? I still got no energy. So we're going to go travel here for $15. That'll at least drop us right out the front door. And here we are. Not Ikea. <laughs> I love this shop. I love how this is set out. And we need to buy a bed. 
So I got my trolley to pick up my bed on. We're going to go around. Lovely. See, you could really make your house look really nice. Obviously, we don't have the money for that at this point. And at some point, hopefully we will. But there, single bed. How much? 400. How much is a double bed? Oh, oh, no, no. 4,000? Wait, the double bed is 10 times the price of a single bed. That's insane. I would like a turquoise one. If I'm correct, though, they'll just turn out the same colour. I'm, I'm going to pick up the turquoise one because I would like that colour. But I'm sure that what you pick up in this store is just one standard colour and you have to pay to colour it. All right, can I buy this bed, please? Because I'm knackered and I need to sleep. There we go. Lovely. So we've got food and we've got a bed. That's actually the essentials. We start work tomorrow, 8 till 4. So that will give us an extra, I say a bit more money in our pocket. We've actually spent a f 2,000 pound already. That's crazy. We may, we may need to do, we may need to work in this supermarket for a while. Can you take me back to my house, please? Which is here, right? Wait, let's turn residential off. Yes, we live here. $28 to get back. Really? I do like the fact we bring the trolley back with us. So let's take the trolley into the apartment. Why not? Pick up the bed and we're going to place that down over here. Maybe there. There we go. Food, bed. Now, the fresh food should be kept in the refrigerator. Obviously, we can't afford a refrigerator. But if you do leave it in the bag on the floor, I'm sure, if I'm correct, I may be wrong and we'll find out. I'm sure the food just keeps in the bag. It's only if you remove it from the bag, is it? Something like that. So, I know it's only half past one in the afternoon, but we have no energy whatsoever. So I'm going to get into bed. We're going to have a we're going to have a long sleep. We got our first day at work tomorrow, so we're going to have a good sleep. We start at eight o'clock. So if I get up at say six thirty. I want to be, I'd rather be there early than late. So start sleeping. And that's how sleep works. So time passes, everyone's happy. There we go. We made a profit of minus 44. I think the profit was actually more than, less than, more than that minus. Because if you think about it, we started with £5,000. Now we're under three. So, as you can see, we've slept. Our hunger is right down. So let's go and pick that bag up we're going to eat one of those and then we're going to place it back down on the floor and we're going to go off to work happiness is full though why is our happiness full first day in new york ah oh, we get a boost for first day in new york york first job 25 percent, and first apartment okay so lots of first going on there and that means happy mr smith Right, what's the time? Seven, oh, we got an hour to get to work. Loads of time. What's in there? Coffee shop. Hmm. Sorry. I, in my other playthrough, did, I, I had a burger shop here. And anyone who's starting out on this game, I would highly suggest go for the main road. And don't go too small. One of the things I've learned is, yes, they're cheaper, but you, you do outgrow them really quickly. And the game does sort of encourage you to start off small. I'd rather go for a medium size unit, I think. Right, what's the time? Oh yeah, we should start work now. Do you know what? It's our first day. We want to make a good impression. So if I click on there, we're going to say start work. And this is how it works in your own shop. Once you set up a shop, you want to work on the counter, you would press start work and this would come up. So you've got a couple of options here. You can press this one, which fast forwards and you can watch what's going on. Obviously, this is not our shop, so we don't want to do that. We're going to press this button instead, which is skip time. And it basically does the same as when you sleep and skips the time past. And there we go. We, we've earned some money. We haven't earned a lot of money, but we've earned some. We're knackered. And very much the beginning of the game, we are going to spend going to work. Going home and eating and sleeping. Going to work. Coming home, eating and sleeping. Going to work. But it'll all be worth it. Because once we get that initial amount of money to start our own business. And that is a good reason to go for one of these places. Like, oh, let me find an empty one. Because they would be a lot cheaper. Like, if we go uh, retail, which is already on. 
I don't know though. That place there. Three thousand pound up front, eighty-two pound rent, and it's a good size. See, but it's that initial payment, three thousand pound up front. That's all our money. We wouldn't afford any equipment to go in there, any stock, and no staff. Staff's not too much of an issue. We can do it ourselves to start with. Right. So, half past, half past four. I can't believe I'm going to bed at half past four in the afternoon. It is what it is. We need that money. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll go to sleep early tonight. After we finish work tomorrow, we'll have a look around. We could go for a walk in the park. Our happiness is still quite high. And I don't think at this point happiness makes much difference. I think this is more once you've got employees and your employees seem to like to have a happy boss, which is fair enough. We can also get gym equipment, we can get TVs and books and we can read in our apartment and all these things add to our, our happiness. But again, all those things take money. So let's go to let's sleep till six o'clock. No, yeah, six, five o'clock. Do you know what? I might sleep to half five and then we might walk up to the park. Why not? There we go. Lovely. So we made $156. Wow. Oh, wow. This is going to take a while. Quit job. I can't quit job. <laughs> I need it. Oh, I didn't eat. I didn't eat. Go back to the house. Eat. You can't do an entire day's work on an empty stomach. I have figured out you actually only need to eat once a day. I know it's not realistic. Well, actually, I say it's not realistic. I only eat twice a day. I don't have breakfast. I have lunch and dinner. And years ago when I was younger, a lot of the time I only had one meal a day. So it depends who you are, whether it's realistic or not. Roscoe Smith here doesn't eat a lot, so he's quite happy eating one meal a day. But if you wanted to play it realistically, you could buy multiple meals and have um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, what's the time? We start work at 8, right? I'm going to zoom out so we can get a look at these buildings, because it is a really nice looking game. I really like the town and how it's set up. Oh, we've got a little parking lot there. I've never used a parking lot. Like a multi-story parking, is that? Or it must be underground parking. Little hot dog stand. I wish we could set one of those up. Like, that would be much cheaper than setting a shop up initially. And we could sell hot dogs from there. How cool would that be? I am literally running across the junction here. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> okay, what's the time? Oh, quarter past seven. There we go. And as soon as we step in the park... We get that bonus. There we go. Walk in the park. Plus 30%. Don't know how long it lasts, if I'm honest. But I don't think you have to spend a long time in the park. So one of the things I was considering uh, was to move to an apartment by the park at some point. Because then every day you could come out your apartment, stop into the park, 30% boost off the bat there and then. We're going to be late for work. Oh no. Are we going to make it? So, it's going to be tight. Run, Roscoe, run. Oh, we're here. Oh, no, we made it in loads of time. Look at that. Hi, I'm early for work. I wonder if you actually get paid for... Your shift hasn't started yet. Oh, um, sorry. There, now it has. Skip time. Earn some money. And we could start buying things for our new shop. Like, once we decide what we want to do, we could buy the equipment and store it in our apartment. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> and then once we get the, the, enough to get the property, we could just... Like, we would all be there ready. But obviously, it would take longer to get that money. So, swings and roundabouts. And I love the fact that you've got competitors. So, you've got rivals in this game. We've got 11? No, 20. 20 rivals... 19 rivals because I'm obviously one of the 20 and all these people have businesses um, Let's see George and Anderson here for example has 11 businesses. He makes 1.5 million pound a week 
and you can see what those businesses are. You can actually go and have a look at them. You can go show on map. There we go. That's his electronic store business. How cool is that? And I think, and we get messages. If we open up in their territory, if we open up in their territory, they send us friendly warnings, shall we say. And every single one of these is a building you can use. And either you own it or your rivals own it. And they've got businesses set up. So if we click on this building here and go in, that someone's opened a tiny little supermarket. Look at it. And all they've got is one free frozen thing and one fridge. One freezer. Frozen thing. Yeah, that's what a freezer is. One freezer, one fridge and a counter. And they've got it all set up and it's done. And it will make money. You've got a little stock room back here, which I find it very odd that we can just walk into the stock room. I feel like these doors should only open if it's your property. But that's a little thing. Right. We are knackered. We've we are happy though. Happy and knackered. Hello, sir. Are you, are you okay? Um, are you drunk? I think he might be drunk. Wait, is this a disco? <gasps> no. What is this? <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. Where am I? I'm in... Wait, I need to go outside to have a look. What is this? Graphic designer. Okay. And then what have we got next door? We've got a bookstore. Oh, I do like a bookstore. Can we go and have a look? No, I wanted to look in the bookstore. You're not going to bed yet. Look at that. A lovely little bookstore. See, I like that. So, obviously, the different colours of books are different. So, you've got uh, kids' books and novels. And I just feel they need... They wouldn't all be the same colour, would they? That's my only gripe about that. But apart from that, I love it. Really like the decor. And I love how each little shop is sort of unique and got its own look. Hello, I'm your neighbour. I'm hoping to open a business up in the area. Got any tips? No? Okay. They do all have uh, CCTV. Wait. You've got a CCTV sign, but act there isn't any. Wait. Oh, you've got a dome one in the ceiling. Oh, very posh. Very posh. So, yeah, there is shoplifting in this game. So, you can lose quite a lot of money that way, but then you can also invest a lot of money in to try and stop it. And working in retail, I know that it's some shops, especially in my in my company, um, it's actually cheaper sometimes to lose the stock than it is to set up the security. I know it's ridiculous. It, it like That's not how the world should work. But yeah, sometimes it's cheaper to lose the stock than it is to pay and maintain the security features and i'm like ah, that, that that just shows how the world's upside down sometimes right we're off again our money is slowly going up and i mean slowly i'm thinking between episodes i'm probably going to do a few more days go to the supermarket build up some money because this is going to be really repetitive oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> um Obviously, if you want to see me go day after day after day to the supermarket till we get the money, I'm okay with that. I can show you that. That's fine. But I'm thinking you'd prefer me to make some money and get our first business open. Let me know in the comments below, obviously, so uh, I sort of know. I don't want to skip past it if you do want to see it. And I'm really interested is, do I get paid for the time I work? So if I turn up early, probably not, because it does say your shift hasn't started yet. And that would sort of suggest that they wouldn't pay me for work I haven't done yet. I wonder if there's more jobs going. Ooh, that would be interesting. Let's have a look at the map. Can we search for jobs? Let's turn those off. Buildings. I don't know where that would be. Web development, nightclub, liquor store, law firm, jewellery store, hairdressers, graphic design, gift shop, fruit and vegetables, florist, fast food restaurant, electronic store, coffee shop, clothing store and bookstore. There is a list of some of the some of or if not all of the businesses you can open. So quite a variety in this game. Then we got our areas. We got buildings for sale. Oh yeah, no, I, we're definitely not at the point where we can buy buildings. Although, there is banks, right? We could take a loan. 
We could take a loan. There's a bank there. There is a bank right there. What time do you open? You close in 10 hours. Oh, you might actually be open when our shift's over. Do you know what? Let's go and have a trip to the bank and we'll see what they'll offer us as a loan. Insufficient energy. Oh, yeah, I need to eat. Ooh. Uh-oh. I forgot about that. I left the house without eating again. Right, can we make it to the bank? Is the bank open? Yes, go. Go. No, not in there. Into the building. Oh, we've got a message. Please don't take me to hospital. I don't want to go to hospital. We need to eat. Hey, where the hell are you? You're working hours. What? How did I finish it? Did I do that? Oh. I'm coming back. I don't know how I managed that. Um, sorry, boss. I would... Oh, was it because I was knackered? I think it was because I was knackered. Wait, let's grab some food. We're going to grab a fresh food and we're going to grab a can of soda to give us a boost. Oh, I think our boss isn't happy with us. Pay for that. We're going to drink that and eat that, which gives us a little bit of a boost. My shift hasn't finished yet, but oh, do you know what? We could finish the shift. Can I? Have I been fired? <laughs> Don't fire me, please. Oh, it won't let me. Is it because I got that in my hand? Okay, fine. Do you know what? I left early because I was knackered. That was my own fault. I tried to starve myself. Let's go to the bank. Let's see what they can give us. Because if they can give us a good loan to start with, we can sort of say goodbye to that job. That repetitive job. Hello, Mr. Bankman. How are you? Uh, hi there, how can I help you? I need money. Uh, new inf new loan. New loan. How about... What would you give me? 100,000? <laughs> oh, do you know what? What's that? Daily interest, 14. Daily payment, 68. That's not bad. Would you give me 100,000? I'm going to try. Uh, unfortunately, I thought that might be the case. Can offer me no more than 40,000. Okay. Just for, like, is this a bartering thing? Can I, can I ask for 45,000? Oh no. No, it's definitely uh, only 40,000. That's fine. We'll take 40,000 of your shiny pennies, please. I'll have uh, the full amount transferred to your bank account right away. <gasps> there we go. £43,000. Oh, amazing. Okay, do you know what? That's brilliant. We can start our... Oh, I need to look on the map now. We need to find um, retail buildings. Down 5th Avenue. Where's 5th Avenue? Down this way. Okay. I like the idea of being close to home. Open. That's £2,000 up front. It is a nice size unit. I think I think I'm gonna go out. I'm, I'm gonna get that one. I think it's a good size, it's good money. Rent the building. Okay, we're gonna go start new business. One of those. Ah, see here we go. We can see what's in the neighborhood. So there's a bit of everything. Bookstores, there's a lot of bookstores and a lot of coffee shops. And a lot of fruit and veg. And fast food. Do you know what? I'm going to go gift shop. I am going to say gift shop. We're going to go select that. And we're going to call it. Ah, oh, we'll call it with love. There we go. With love is what our business is called. Perfect. So, first things first, settings. This is our logo. This is what's going to be on our sign. And this is the color. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the colours of our sign. So I do like the gift. I think that's nice. Is there a nicer one? Now, I actually really like the simplicity of that. So can we... I'm thinking pink. I'm thinking a darker pink for that. Oh, but it saves it. Oh, that's nice. Font colour the same. And then can we have 
a light pink for the background. I know it's basic, but I still think this is lovely. I think this is a really nice touch in the game. And when we go to the shop, you'll see that the sign colors are this. And when it says with love on the front, it will be in these colors. And I like that. I think that's lovely. So we've got that set up. Marketing, we do not need to do yet. Deliveries, we do not need to do yet. Oh, wait, I've saved the logo. Yeah, confirm. Schedule. I think we should open a bit later. I think we should open till six. Now, I know some people like to open 24 hours a day. And I get that. If you like, if we want to milk money out of the game, we could open 24 hours a day. But it is a role-playing business game. And I, I feel like gift shops wouldn't be open 24 hours a day. I think eight till six is actually what I would expect in my time. Actually, that's longer than I'd expect in my time. In my time, I would expect nine to six. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, if you don't agree, I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments below. We've got paper bags, we've got none, and I think that's about it so far. So now we need to go and buy some things. What is the time? 6.30. What time does... That one, wasn't it? What time do you shut? Four hours. Oh, oh, we could get there in that time. We could definitely get there, especially if we took a taxi. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Taxi, take me here. I wish to go to the appliance store. Travel hit £24. Sorry, dollars, not pounds. $24. I wonder if I can change it to pound. Because I'm going to say pound a lot. It's just what I'm used to. Okay, this is a store. Let's grab a sack truck. There we go. And I'm thinking, first off... We can only get four items on here. We're going to go backwards and forwards like a yo-yo. I tell you what we could do. How much would it be to get these things delivered? Is there an office bloke around here? No. Can I speak to your manager, please, sir? Have you got a manager? No, that's not an office. Where's the office? Did I walk straight past it? I did. There it is. Hello. I'm starting a business, but I'm going to be sending a lot of business your way. So any chance you can deliver for me. So if I go with love, <laughs> Friday, yeah, Friday's okay, 10 o'clock. Delivery fee's 250, but it would save us going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Because with the sat truck, we can carry four items and we're going to need more than that. Let's do, f like, if I wanted... My dream shop, what would I need? I'd need three of those, four of those. But that, say I put four of those. Yes. And then I would, I'd say three tills. And then I'd want, I'd like four of those as well, if I'm honest. For, for cheap gifts. Now I definitely want to start off with gifts and flowers. So, if I go four of those, which will be one for each. Cheap flowers, expensive flowers, cheap... No, I don't even need cheap gifts. I could get away with three of those. Although flowers sell really well, so I would like two cheap flowers, I think. Perfect. Then we need some baskets. We definitely need baskets. And a bin. And that's sort of the basics. Hmm. Fire, fire exit sign. 500 for fire exit sign is horrendous. When you're thinking, that entire stand is costing me 500 and you're charging me that just for the stand. Decorative shampoo. Uh, no, we're going to have a fire exit stand. Of course we are. We've got the tills. we got that. Lovely. Oh, we need a cleaning station. Add one of those. Okay, I'm trying to work this out in my head. Bookshelves. I would like to go into books, but we'll get the gifts and flowers up. I do think we can sell books in this shop. Obviously, there's a lot of bookshops in, in the region, in the in the district. So opening a bookshop's not an, op, an, an option, but selling some books while people come in for gifts, I think that's an option. Storage shelf for the storage room. We're probably going to need two of those. So what does that come to? 
50. That's not bad. That could set us up really nicely. Cabinets, planet in my head. And then obviously we need to get some plants and decor. And But I think that's a starting point. So if I go, yes, deliver that order. All right, we'll do the delivery following your specifications. Thank you. Amazing. And I do think having it delivered for $250 is a bargain. And the great thing is now, obviously, yes, we can come back here. But if we don't want to come back here, if we want to open a shop over town and we've got it already, we can now go to our phone book, contact. And there we go. AJ Pedersons and Son. And we can call them and we can order on the phone and they can deliver it. We don't even have to come down here if we don't want to. We will, because I like to get around the city, but we'll definitely use the phone delivery service as well. So what we're going to do is sleep till morning and then go and set up our shop. So let's go over here. Yeah, because we are absolutely knackered. We've got no energy whatsoever. Uh, do you know what? I think I'm going to quit my job. Let's do that now. We're going to quit. We're done. <laughs> that may be, that might be a mistake, but you know what? It'll be fine. I want a nice early start. So I'm going to, I'm going to get up at six o'clock. We're going to get up at six o'clock. We're going to go and set up with love. Have some, uh, nice displays. I, uh, I love the plants and that you have to go to the not Ikea store. Um, but that's fine. We can do that. All these things cost money, and I think, like, the decor and that is things that will, will happen over time rather than straight away. Although, we do need some a speaker in our shop because people get very annoyed. I'm coming across. <laughs> people do get very annoyed if there's not music. They say, oh, it's too quiet. So where was, where was not Ikea? There. Opens in four hours. Oh, we did get up way too early. Let's go and have a look at With Love. That's along here somewhere, right? I've forgotten where we are. Yeah, there it is. There it is, just up the road. <gasps> look at it. Oh, it's it's amazing. How f oh, it looks lovely. Let's go inside. There we go. This is our new shop. I got distracted. I was going to go and buy a speaker, but it's not open anyway. Look, just lovely. How much is stock going to cost us? That's interesting. So if we go over to here, well, let's have a look. So paper banks, oh, oh, auto saving, expensive gifts, say one and a half. Expensive flowers, only 250. That's not bad. Okay. Well, where's the cheap gifts? So, say say two so far. Two, three so far. Say three, because uh, cheap gifts are 1,149. Then cheap flowers are 267. I'm actually tempted to sell drinks as well. I just think that would be really nice. Like a little soda stand, fridge by the, the counters. Bit of extra income. And then we need paper banks. It's not going to cost us a lot to set up at all, stock-wise. I wonder if we just take, whilst we're waiting for our delivery, and we're waiting for not IKEA to open, we take a walk up this way. Right, turn it round so we can actually see where we're going. Oh no, because oh yeah, that the other one should be open. I want to go to the other appliance store. So each appliance store seems to sell their own thing. This one up here sells all your food things, like your fridges and your freezers and your cookers and your grills and deep fat fryers, things like that. So this is where we're going to want to go to get a fridge for soda. Do we have green men? Can I see the green man? No? Do I just go? Yeah, because it does... How, how does the green man work, actually? How am I supposed to... Is it there? That thing there tells me when to cross. I presume so. Oh, it doesn't open for another two hours. Are you kidding me? I'm excited to start my business and you're not open yet. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could walk along here. So there's a school, if I'm correct, it's along here. 
Yes, there's a school. So you have a business school. I'll explain this while we're waiting for time to tick by. So at this point, we can open a business. If we want to open multiple businesses, we have to do basic management. So we could do that now. We could, we got a couple of hours to kill. It takes 10 hours to complete, which we could do off the bat. We're not going to. And then we've got fundamentals of business administration, which I'm presuming is like setting up head office and things like that. If I had to guess, I don't know. I did both of them in my game just because they were there. We've also got other means of transport. We've got the subway here. So we can get, we can use the subway. We can use taxis. We can buy our own cars and vehicles. How long do you open? <laughs> Nine o'clock. Oh, couple of minutes. Yeah, so plenty of options for transport. And I, I do like driving. I just struggle. <laughs> As you'll see in future episodes. Uh, right, so here we go. We got ice cream stands and donut stands and all sorts. And all the shops have the plants in, but we can't buy these plants from here. Which is I, okay, fine. But I'd like to be able to just pick them up while I'm in here rather than go all the way to a separate shop. Now, we've got a drinks fridge and a, a large and a small. So, another thing we have to consider in this game, as I'm going to explain now, is if we go to here and we go to... Oh, no, not here. We'll go to Business Manager. Click on this, and here we go. Customer Capacity. Now, the capacity... It's a bit confusing, but I think the capacity varies per amount. So, each piece of equipment, each shelf, has a certain capacity of customers. The building limit is 30, so we can't go over 30. But if a stand only has 20 customer capacity, to get our 30 customer capacity, we would need two of those shelves. I think I've explained that as simply as possible. So some things have a... They, each thing has a different capacity. And I think, because it's a 30 capacity, we are probably going to need the biggest fridge... I may be wrong about that, but I'm going to take it anyway. Cha-ching, there we go. We've got our first item ready to put in our new shop. It is an odd one selling drinks, but it seems to work really well. Really well. Like, I think I've had a drinks machine in every single shop I've opened. <gasps> our shipment's arrived. Our shipment has arrived. That's amazing. Okay, so everything's there waiting for us. We just have to... Oh, the, yeah, there's electric scooters we can rent as well. When I was all about means of transport, we've got electric scooters. I would like a... Once I'm rich enough to have a limousine that ferries me around so I don't have to worry about parking or driving. I don't know if that's a thing. Right, there's our delivery. We've got all those outside. We've got our fridge in our hand. So I'm going to place it down as a box for now. Like that. Let's go and have a look. Manage storage. So I'm thinking cabinet with drawers first. Because we need to figure out where our tills are going to go. And I want to say that the stock room would be behind. I don't know. I sort of want to put it by the door. I feel like for security reasons that would be good. But I also want to block off this. So I'm thinking if I put it there. Like that. Then we can go and grab... A, where is it? Product panel. Yes. So my idea with these is they will be little gifts sort of stacked at the counter. So whilst you're paying, you might go, oh, a key ring. I, I'll have one of those. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to have two of those. And I don't want it to be sort of symmetrical. So we're going to make it a bit odd. So we'll have two of those there like that. Then we're going to go out and grab another, where are we? Cabinet. Now, we could use a sat truck to bring all this in. Don't know why it took me all the way over there. Right, that's the white way. Yep, there we go. We'll have that one. Then we'll grab another product panel. I think I may have bought too many product panels. Like that. And then we'll have a couple of those. Yes. 
I like it being not symmetrical. I don't know why. That's probably really annoying some people. <laughs> and this one can go on. Yeah, see, the idea is we'd get a corner one to go in there. Ah, oh, so all these need to move. If we had a corner one in there, this one would go there. This would go back one. This would go back one. Or we could have two in there. Actually, ignore me. What, how much space would we need to put two in there? There, which means this one would have to go there. So actually everything is going to have to come forward, which is fine because we do have a lot of room in this shop. I want it to look nice. It's our first shop. And if it looks nice, customers will enjoy it. So we'll have it like an, an L-shaped counter. So you can only get into the stock room from the one side. I think that's a good idea. So we're going to need another one of those and a corner piece which is fine i think you can only buy the corner pieces from not ikea okay then we're gonna need do you know what we'll take the cleaning station we'll go into the back here and that's gonna live out here because why wouldn't it this is where our cleaners are gonna come and grab their sweeping brushes and things i might take the hand truck every shop seems to come with one you can use them. You can put them in the back of your van. If you leave them anywhere, they just sort of respawn back where they came from. Uh, manage storage. So, I'm going to take all three cash registers. I'm going to take the trash bin. That's the start. Okay. Bring it in. We're going to go trash bin. Place that. Do you know what? By the door. We're going to place it by the door. Then we're going to grab a cash register. And we're going to place it there. We're going to grab another cash register and place it there. And then finally the last one. Down this way. Yep, yeah, that's good. Grab our little sack truck again and back outside. What else we got? We got exit sign. Storage shelves. They need to go in. And a product panel. Oh, do I want that? I don't know if I've ordered too many. We might as well use it now we've got it. Yes. Okay. Back inside. So, exit sign needs to go above the door. Obviously. There we go. Oh, does it? Well, no, that seems odd. Because that's... Yeah, that's why we've got them in the UK. Above the door. Uh, product panel... I don't know if I want you. Maybe? Maybe? May no. No. I don't... Uh, do you know what? Leave it packed up. We'll pull it out the back. We may use it at some point. Storage shelves. Now these need to go out the back. So we'll put one there and we'll grab the next one and put it with it. There we go. Lovely. So we've got some storage. And now I think I probably need more round shelves. How many did we buy? Four. Okay. Four might not be a bad thing actually. If we go here. So if I think about it, if I was going to do books, I'd put them over in this corner, along this wall. So then we could have flowers in the window. You can pull it right up against the window, but I feel like these are sort of designed to be able to walk around. So if we do that, then grab another one. Don't want it too uniform either. I quite like the idea of having a couple on that wall as well. So maybe our cheaper flowers there. Because if you think about it from a theft point of view, I don't know if the game takes this into account. It probably does not. Like, that would be the closest to the door. So if I put you there, it's still looking very empty. But that's fine. This is just the beginning. Oh. We've got too many of these now. <laughs> right, now we're going to grab the fridge. And we're going to put that out. Do I... I'm tempted to put it here. But I'm thinking against the wall would probably be better. Which in that case, we could... Wait, wait, wait. Go this way, sir. Go this way and go and grab that other rack. And then we could put that one next to this against that wall it doesn't fit against the wall that sort of annoys me like why would it be so far off the wall i don't know but it is 
We might as well make the use of it. Yeah, we'll do that. Now we need to go and get some stock. Yes, let's do it. Let's go and buy our first lot of... Oh, wait. Wait, no. We've still got stuff. <laughs> wait, we need the shopping baskets. So, I'm thinking... Buy the front door? Oh, that bin's in the way then, isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Those are both double doors. So, if I put one there, we're going to move the bin into the... I don't know. I don't know where to put the bin now. Oh, what if, what if we put the bin there? Are those baskets blocking it? Possibly. Possibly are, but... We'll see if people... I don't think people use it anyway. I actually think the bin's decorative. But I wanted one, so we've got one. Now we have to go to Not Ikea. Excuse me, can I have a lift, please? Don't, oh, don't run up. Didn't even want to stop for me then. <laughs> oh no, we don't want... No, we'll go stock first. Yeah, we'll go stock first. So we're going to travel to here. Because obviously, not Ikea is bonus things we're going to be buying. We want to make sure we've got enough stock to start with. Right. Oh, we've only got a sack truck in here. Hmm. Which means four items. Wait, 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 wait. You can deliver, right? Yeah, but that's like a standard setup delivery. And it charges me 400. Hmm. Start a contract with love, 400 delivery fee. Like this might, this could be a waste of money to start with. I've never, I sort of ferried it backwards and forwards before. We could buy a van. That might be a better option. How much would a van cost me? Where are we going? Right, vans are over here. Okay, I just paid a taxi to bring me here, but I've changed my mind. And it would save money on taxi fare, right? If we had a vehicle. And we've got the money. I just feel like a van is the ideal option here. So let's just go up here. Didn't even look both ways then. Just crossed. Is this it? Warehouse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there it is. We're, we're coming up to it. I was getting impatient. This building here is what I want. There's a door there. You could literally go through that door there. No? No? Coming all the way around, are we? What? What do you mean it's closed? I <laughs> close. Did this close at five o'clock? Oh, that's so annoying. Opens in 15 hours. Okay. 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 Is this place at least open? Closes in three hours. Oh, yeah, but... Do you know what? Actually, we'd, we'll just go to Not Ikea. Yeah, we'll go to Not Ikea. We'll get the speaker. Because I do think customer happiness... There's a, like, they need a door on this side. But okay. Uh, if you click it... Uh, I'm not doing anything at this point. He is just running himself. The customer happiness is important. And... Music is a big thing they complain about. So we might as well, seeing as we paid for a taxi to come here, pick up a speaker. I was hoping to get the shop open today. Pick up a speaker. And that'll be one thing off the list. Would like some plants. Do you know what? Give me a trolley. How much is that? 600. Sewed. Oh, this is a mistake. But I, I, I want to. <laughs> I like plants. We we just need more plants. <gasps> and some pictures. Oh, they're only 20 each. One of those. One of those. One of those. Oh, this thing only holds eight. I haven't even got the speaker that I came in here for. Uh, speaker, speaker, speaker. Speaker. Oh, actually, if we talk to someone while we're here... We could ring up and have things delivered again. How much is the big speaker? Do I want a massive speaker like that? Or we can have a tiny speaker. I'm going to go for the tiny one that's on the counter. I think that's a better option. And I'm tempted to grab a couple of rugs. Again, $30 each. That's a bargain. Right. Okay. Let's go and pay for this. I'm going to try and call into the office on the way as well. Right. 
$880. That is a steal. Thank you very much. Right. We're going to leave that one there. This looks like an office to me. Even if I don't place an order, I've spoken to them. I'm sure that's how it works. So decline. Then we can go to contacts. There we go. There we go. It's on there. So next time we can just ask them to deliver it. Yes. See, this is the key. Talk to everyone in every place you go in because then they're in. Ah, oh, we didn't talk to. We didn't talk to the office in the appliance store that sold all the food items. Next time we're in there, we need to talk to them so they're in our contacts. But yeah, so I think I think we're doing well so far. We've got our shop ready to go. We just need to get stock in there. I'm going to buy a van. I'm going to buy a van. We're going to load it up. I've got a long walk home with this first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it here. And whilst... Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to get this back to the shop, drop it off. And then we'll pick up in the next episode by getting the stock, opening the shop, and going from there. If you're enjoying this episode, hit that like button. If you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. Join me next time where With Love opens its doors for the very first time. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, make some money. Until then, I'll see you again.